guys, after CCing the chamber at 61 cc's, I had already set up the uh, short block with the pro comp studs and gaskets just waiting to throw the head on here. So let me see if I can show you this. Zoom in a little. So I basically have the head installed on the short block and I have all the nuts on. I'm using AR Pube underneath the uh, washers and the nuts. So basically what I do is I just start in the middle and I'll run them in, working my way around like a circle. I start in the middle and circle out, kind of like you would on an old school small block. I'll run over them again. Because those MLS gaskets have a lot of compression. It seems like these pro comps screw and stud always have a great deal of, I call it run in, but they scare you sometimes with how much they stretch. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll run that in. And what I, I like to try to do, which is just uh, personal preference, <clears throat> I wipe some of this assembly lube off of here because I don't like getting it all. It's like liquid graphite. You get that stuff uh, on you, it's just almost impossible to get it off. It multiplies on you and I personally don't like having that graphite style molly in my engine oil even on startup because it can make you think that you have a bearing problem I don't know if you guys have ever run into that before but if you use that real dark molly engine assembly lube on your bearings and your cam and whatnot for several oil changes you're going to see silvery uh, material in your engine oil which a lot of people immediately of course start thinking they've got a bearing problem when really all it is is all that molly doesn't break down super fast in the engine oil so it ends up having to be washed or flushed out of your engine over time I just don't like that headache of worrying that I've got a bearing going bad okay these pro comp electronic studs with lube and again I'm using ARP lube out of the little squish packs says 30 50 70. So you'll torque these down in three stages. And what I'll do is I'll just sneak up even on the 30. Because I don't like to do it all in one time. I like to be very slow. And now I pull the head down into this MLS gasket. Plus these are brand new uh, studs, which always seem to stretch and way down down there we go now we'll start here and try to get our 30 now like I must just show you I wanted to start over with the lube they're recommending your final torque setting is five pounds lighter than if you just lubricated these threads and the washers and nuts with engine oil. So if you were using just engine oil and not a lube, you would torque them to 75. But I can tell you right now, 70 is gonna feel like a ton and you'll start worrying about stripping out a a stud even pulling these things to 70 is kind of scary sometimes because you'll feel you'll feel it giving and makes it kind of feel like it's going to strip but 
So far, so good. Okay, so I got them to 30. All right, let's get the 50 pound torque. This is where you'll start sweating it a little. Because it takes quite a bit of turning to get where you want to be. even strokes don't sit there and go back and forth loading and unloading your torque wrench nice even pressure till it gives I see a lot of people doing those herky-jerky motions on their torque wrenches that can give you some pretty erratic torque readings You can really feel that head coming down on these fine. See, like right there, you felt it. I felt it slip. All that is is the stud seating itself better into the block. Or your studs, you put them lightly into the block. You don't torque them into the block. <clears throat> They'll get pulled in tighter as you do your torquing sequence. Okay, let's hit these head studs with their final torque of 70 foot-pounds. Hey YouTubers, I wanted to do this video kind of like a prequel because I was having a lot of trouble with my phone, kept telling me that I had uh, no space available, that it was full. I don't know what was wrong with it, probably because it was 120 degrees inside my garage today. But I wanted to show you that the heads are on and torqued for the Turbo 4.8 build. Um, may, I don't know if you guys have realized those are the comp cams 918 beehive springs. Everything is on, torque to spec, everything went on good, no issues. And I wanted to show you the process where I was putting the heads on, you know, getting the, getting the head over the studs. I do apologize because I had footage of installing the studs into the block. I have no idea what happened to that footage. Someone ate it. I don't know. But uh, I just want to kind of give you the little backstory, or at least show the process of getting them put on and getting them ready to roll.